Hello, this is Scott McLean from TransMusicMastery.com, and today I have another tutorial. This week, a Trans Music Mastery member emailed me and asked about arpeggiators, so I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to create an arpeggiation manually. I'll have another follow-up uh, video tutorial later in the week on how to use the arpeggiator plugin that comes with Live. This is the clip that I just created and basically it sounds like this. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, basically I created this clip, as we can see here, and I automated the uh, filter cutoff over the course of the clip and I'm using Massive a sound on Massive let me pull that up real quick this is the lead virus ARP from the Adam Sabo Massive sound set and it's really nice basically to make these arpeggiate arpeggiations manually um, I'm not going to be able to recreate this one exactly because um, as you'll see I kind of apply some random randomizing technique to this um, but we'll come fairly close uh, basically it starts with a chord and I'm going to let me get rid of the envelope here I'm just gonna play a C minor chord which consists of these notes so arpeggiation basically means instead of playing the chord like this where you hold all three notes down at once or all four or however many notes are in the chord Instead of playing it like that, you play them one at a time in sequence. Okay, something like that. So, I'm going to start with a C chord, C minor. And if I just repeat that on the 16th notes, And then we'll play one like that at the end. So now this clip sounds like... Okay, so now if I said, all right, well, let me, let me double the tempo. Okay, you can do stuff like that, but that's not really what I want to do for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to extend the length to two. And we're going to... make a copy of it. Okay, and I'm going to extend the length again to four. And now I'm going to take this and move, create a new chord from that. So instead of C minor, I'm going to move, whoops, uh, I'm going to move up to G. So it'll be C minor, then G. Now, we want to make sure our G is accurate from copying those notes. So a G would be, it's actually G minor in the key of C minor. So it looks like we're hitting G, B flat, and then D. So that's right. Okay, so let me just check. Uh, something real quick. Okay. In this clip, I actually changed the progression. So it's C minor, then G minor, C minor, then G, alternating on the bar. So I'm going to change that real quick in this one, just so we're going to come close. So let me get rid of this. And let me grab this and move it over. Delete this. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that. Okay, now 
now I'm going to increase the length of this to eight bars and I'm going to basically end up on F, F minor. So we're going to repeat this sequence one more time. And then the last two bars are going to be F. Okay, so that's an F minor. So there. Okay, now before we start moving notes around, let's uh, modulate the filter cutoff envelope. So let's do filter cutoff and let's add a clip envelope to basically do something like that. It's kind of rough. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. Now basically all I did was I just took those chords, as you saw. Now what we want to do is randomize this a little bit. And let me get rid of the envelope so we can see the MIDI editor. I'm going to take it and I'm going to take, um, just take like three notes here from the middle, move those up an octave. Just want to kind of spread things out a little bit. This one down some. In fact, that's too much, so let me get back. Maybe bring the, let's see, we've got C. G. Let's move these G's down. And then move this up. I'm going to try to get some high notes. Can even move a couple of these up. Except I'm hitting the wrong note each time. Let me move this up there. And there. So I'm just going to continue randomizing this a little bit. So basically, let's just take um, take those two A, let's see, where are they? B flats and move them up. Take the bottom here. Let's see, I want one of these.
I'm, I'm, I'm now seeing a pattern develop here, you know, between this note and these two notes, two, 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 and then, you know, maybe end with three. Let's try that. Um, bring it up from here. Now, wait a second. Let me make sure I get the right note. Something like that. And, you know, basically um, the next type of adjustment we could make would be if we set our quantization to 132nd notes, we can actually hold the shift key down and you can um, select a few at a time here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. So we're going to shorten those. could select a few more shorten those a little That's really about it. So we can play that sequence compared to the other one. I mean, I basically followed the same technique. I think what's different is this one's a little more... Um, Let's see, uh, I think I pulled apart, the, I spread the notes out more across the octaves in the first one. So like for example, let's move, let's take these two notes and move them down an octave. So we'll go down to the D and then take these two and go up an octave, up two octaves actually. To the high C, C5. Same thing over here, take this F, and take this, let's see, take, take these two C's and move those up high. So now let's play that. about it that's really all you need to do you just experiment with different chords and uh, moving the, the notes of the chords around across different octaves and to, to achieve the result you're looking for and in the next video I will be using the arpeggiator plugin that comes with live to make the following sequence <laughs>